famous explorer renowned in the explorers guild thank god welcome back to no man's sky everyone jason here and this is our pioneer expedition revisit our redux our replay of the first expedition so as you can see we've done phase one phase two phase three and phase four is almost done we're having a bit of trouble with this explorer's guild standing so you're supposed to go to a space station and get explore guild missions in order to increase it the problem is we can't find those they're for whatever reason they're not popping up we also need to chart some waypoints and collect storm crystals those should be easy to do so this is going to be an episode just focused on the explorer's guild standing now i've done some research i've talked to some people and they say that the reason why a lot of us, like including myself, are running into only missions that are for the race of the system is because our standing in that race is really low. So what I mean by that is... Oh, they're not going to show it to us, are they? Oh, no. Log... Nope, they're not. So, if you have a really low standing amongst the, like, Gek or the Viking or whoever, if your standing is really low, they will give you a whole bunch of missions to increase that standing. So what you need to do is increase your standing. That way they can vary up the missions. Is there not a uh, space station here? Oh, there's not a space station in this uh, system. Great. Well, this was for a rendezvous number four or five. And actually what I should do, let me show you guys the rendezvous for number five. There it is. Those are the glyphs for the fifth rendezvous. I forgot to do this in the last episode. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. I messed up. But that is these are the glyphs for the fifth rendezvous fifth rendezvous last rendezvous there you go and there's no system there's no space station here because it, it's an abandoned system yeah there's no race in the system as you can see and if you press triangle or uh y for on xbox it'll show you all the info there's no race in here so we need a race we need a system with a race so let's go we're gonna randomly pick one let's pick this one right here nope nope that one doesn't have any race in it either all right, Corvax system. Let's go to the Corvax system. So, there are a few ways to increase your standing. The easiest way, or the most recommended way, is just doing a whole bunch of missions for them. That's why when you go to the mission agent, they will have a ton of missions for that race, okay? So let's go to the space station, and I will show you what that is. So, because our, our, uh, our reputation with the Corvax is so low, they're saying, hey, look, you need to increase your reputation. We're going to give you a whole bunch of missions to increase your reputation with the Corvax. I know I'm, I'm uh, repeating myself a lot. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to fill the time while we get in here. All right, Corgo Bulkhead. This can go in here. All right. So as you can see, this is a problem I ran into the last episode. It seemed like every single station I got to was all just tons and tons of the same mission what am i doing i'm not going to the terminal mission agent right here mission agent let's talk to them and because of the viking system look at our corvax system sorry all the missions are corvax because my corvax reputation is so low so you can take these and increase your reputation that might take you a while and depending on the mission it could take you a long long time there is another way to increase your Corvax or any standing at all. Remember that we put in, uh, we installed a, an economy scanner on our ship. It's still there. I, hopefully you didn't get rid of it. What you can do is you can go to that gear icon by pressing down on your D-pad, going all the way over here, and then you can scan for a trading outpost. So let's scan for it. It'll mark the uh, random one near you. That way you can see where it is. Oh, it's over this direction. It's on that planet right there, trading post right there. So let's go land on the trading outpost and I'm gonna show you how to increase your standing really fast. Alrighty, here is the trade post right here. Oh, and we landed on a, uh, we actually landed on a landing pad this time, thankfully. Now, the reason why you wanna to come to a trading post is all the pilots that land here will sell you the special items for that race. So we're in a Corvax system, right? That means all the uh, pilots landing will have a Corvax special thing, a Corvax cube or a Corvax uh, husk, I believe it's called. We'll see when we get there. They're gonna land, yeah, they're gonna start landing. There they are, there they are. 
So all you want to do is buy the special item for that race from the uh, race, the uh, pilots that are landing on a trading outpost. And say, yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have very much stuff. So let's go to buy. They're not going to have very much. Oh, no, yeah. Corvex casing and a Corvex convergence cube. Oh, one of each. Oh, God. You're going to make me wait, huh? Okay. But yeah, see, they don't have very much here. So eh. we bought the one. It's a bad. It's a very poor system. That's why they only have one. If you're in a very advanced system, like a good economy system, they will have more than one. But these guys only have one or two. I'm buying both. It can get very expensive, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. You don't need to buy both. A Corvax uh, Convergence Cube should be the ticket. But as soon as you buy those things, all you have to do is talk to a Corvax that's walking around. And you can give them a gift. So you see it says offer one gift Corvax casing. Okay, you only have to buy the casing. There you go. When you give them the gift, your Corvax standing increases. Look at that. Boom. It increased by one. And so you can walk over. You can only give one gift per alien. You know, per Corvax or Gek or Viking, whatever. You can only give one gift per person, per alien. So you have to go around to everybody and give them a gift. So that's what we're doing. We're increasing. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I ran out of casings. Okay. So I'm going to chill out here for a while. I'm going to buy some uh, a whole bunch of stuff. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh, and before we get too far into it, I've done it eight times. Number one, I've done it for eight times. But I also noticed that I lied to you earlier. I totally lied. You can give more than one gift to the same Corvax. So offer them a gift. One. I've already given them a gift, but I have gave them another one. And then talk to the same guy again. Boom, boom, boom. And offer him another gift. Boom. And it went up by two, so now I'm at ten. I've increased it by ten. So I think that should be enough. Do I have any more? Let's see how much I have. I have some more. I have six more, so let's buy some more from this guy. And then we're going back to the space station. I've increased my rank by ten. So hopefully ten is enough. I don't know how much you need to. But I have six more just in case. There's one. There it is. Okay. So seven more. Let's go back to that space station and see if the missions have changed. So I'll see you guys back on the space station. Uh-oh, my wings are broken. Uh-oh, coming into the space station with our broken wings. They should be down, but they're up. Okay, that's okay. We've got weird wings going on here. But yeah, now I'm going to go right over to the uh, mission agent, but you gotta remember, you might need to reload your save to kind of refresh all of the missions. So we're going to find out. I'm going to talk to the mission agent and let's see if they changed it all or if I need to reload and check that one out. Oh, no, look at that. Boom. Now you see that's how you fix that. That is how you fix it, because now I have an Explorer Guild mission right here. You need to get your rank up with that race. So if you want to go in all these different uh, systems, you got to get your rank up in every single one. Holy cow. That is a pain in the butt. But now we know. Let's, ex let's start our mission. Hey. Okay, mission to progress. There we go. So now we have our mission. We are good. Come on. Consult the galaxy map. Oh, we had to go to a different system. You're killing me. You're killing me. That's all right. If we go to a different system that has a different race, maybe we can increase our standing as well there so let's go to our oh man this is what's gonna take forever you guys up oh, it's in over here every one of these missions will increase your rank by one and we need to do 10 of them <laughs> oh my god you gotta do 10 missions in order to get this thing done let's do it come on oh wings changed there you go <laughs> uh. and our mission is right over here Plan has requested scans from a specific planet. Land and get the minerals. Okay. We're going to have to land and scan a whole bunch of minerals. I think it's going to be what? Like 5, 10? I wasn't paying attention. I should have been paying attention, but I didn't. Oh! Nice! Land right next to the, uh, right next to the planetary archive. I'll do that. Oh, my wings didn't move. Oh my god! The wings are definitely glitched out on the ship. Wow, okay. Scan unique minerals, six of them. That's not hard. Especially we're right next to a cave. You can get a whole bunch of them just in the cave. Oh, maybe it's a cave. Oh, did it lie to me? Oh, no, it is a cave. Okay, it's a cave. 
There's like a ton of different minerals in a cave. You should be okay. Looking for question marks. There we are. As a plant, though. That's not going to help me. Inorganic. That's what we're looking for. This is number two. Oh, yeah. By the way, we got to look at our expedition. I haven't done any of them yet. I'm still at five out of 16. So technically, we got to do 11. Not 10. 11 of these missions. Holy. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be the one. Holy cow. Let's get that one. Any of these rocks going to show up? Nope. Dang it. That's okay. And technically, what, what race is in here? It is a... That doesn't tell me what race it is. What race is this? Let's look at these pilots. Might be able to buy some upgrades from them as well. So, pilot, where are you? There you are. It's a Corvax system too. Dang it. Is it a Corvax system? Let's see. Buy items. It is. So we don't need to increase the uh, rake with the Corvax guy here. So we're good. We do need to scan more rocks, though. Oh, yeah, there's the rocks over here. Let's go get them. Are you a rock? Yes, you are. Give me those scans. You're a rock as well. Where are we at? What are we at? How, what are, let's go to our log. We are what? not telling us how many is in the thing. Okay. Five out of six. Oh, we need one more rock. One more rock. Come on. Give me one more rock. Nope. Come on. There we go. There's our rock right there. Boom. Minerals. Done and done. Return to the mission agent. Yes. And you, again, you don't have to go back to the same one. You, because we went to a different system, we can actually use this guy right here. So let's keep it going. Oh, got to get to our our, uh, our ship. Man, I had to use the platform way over here because my legs are hurting. It's too far to walk. I don't know what I'm getting whipped by. All right. Good, good, good. Let's go back to the mission agent. And just think, we got to do this 11 times. There it goes. And again, just get your rank up with the uh, with the different races and you're good to go. You just have to get that rank up. Go to a trading outpost, buy the special item, give it to people as a gift, give it to the Gek or the Viking or the Corvax as a gift. And once you get that rank high enough, I did 10. I don't think you need to do 10. Maybe five is good enough. I don't know. But just get as much as you can. And my wings are jacked up. Get as much as you can. That way you don't have to worry about it. So let's get in over here. Let's turn this in. We were at five. Oh, go back. Where are you at? Give me my hand in. There it is. Hand in missions. And this one, he has a... Kill 15 Creatures Explorer's Guild Mission. There you go. We'll accept that one. And now if we go to any Corvax uh, system, we'll be able to get Explorer Guild Missions. We have that one. We don't have any other ones. We have a lot of Merchant, Merchant, Corvax. That's the way it should be. It should be one, maybe two Corvax missions, and then the rest of it is Merchant and uh, Explorer missions. So now we have that. We have to go kill some creatures. So I'm going to fast forward through all this, you guys. Oh, let's look at our uh, expedition guide. We're at six out of 16. I need to do 10 more missions. You guys know what's going on. So we're going to have to fast forward through this part. This is going to be me just doing a whole bunch of missions. So I will see you guys in a second. All right, you guys. I made it finally. Let me go to my expedition tab right here. 15 out of 16. I need to do one more Explorer Guild mission, and I already accepted it. I was on a roll. I almost didn't check, but I got one. It is to kill 15 creatures. You don't know how many creatures I've killed. It seems like a lot of the missions I've gotten, and you'll notice this is a Gex system. I kind of went to a different system to see if I would get different missions. It seems like you get mostly, hey, kill creatures, 
scan animal, you know, scan rocks or scan plants or kill animals. Kill animals, kill animals, kill animals. You're killing animals like crazy, so be ready for that. I've, you know, I've tried to go the good way and go to an abandoned building. I, I'm, I'm a weak-willed person, I guess. I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the nearest uh, planet. I'm gonna land and I'm gonna take out some animals. I'm just tired of trying to go to an abandoned building and take out the biological horrors. <laughs> I'm a terrible person, I know. I know. But this should be it. This should be the last time I have to do this. Look around. Is there any? Of course, there's not any animals around here. Oh, nope. Never mind. They appeared on the other side. Okay. So let's get it done. It's done. It is done. God. Always feel like a jerk doing all this, but you know what? It is what it is. That's okay. Let's go. Turning in our last mission. We'll be able to get this thing done. Oh, come on, really? Kicked me out of a bolster drive? Come on. Got a lot of uh, raw meats. <laughs> It makes me a little bit sad. Got to sell that off, make some money though. All right, we have everything all sorted out. I, you notice my uh, my inventory is a little bit different. I've been trying to organize it to max out the uh, thing. I'm waiting on some of this stuff so I can make my my suit perfect. Get a good setup on my suit. All right, let's go. Turn it in one last time. Woo! Had to do it eleven missions, eleven times. Turn it in, hand in the mission. Famous explorer, renowned in the Explorer's Guild. Thank God. And we got phase four done. Let's look at the stuff. Let's look at it real quick. Expedition. Collect the reward. Yes. Got a whole bunch of good upgrades here. Scanning upgrade, underwater oxygen upgrade, supreme hyperdrive upgrade. There you go. There you go. And then let's check out what the uh, rewards are for phase four. A streamlined jetpack unit. Yes. We get our cool jetpack now. So you get the really cool jetpack. Yeah, I got the cool jetpack. So we got it done. Now all we have left to do is phase five. Everything's done up till phase four. Phase five. All we have to do is get checkpoints and collect storm crystals. So. That's going to be an easy peasy episode next time. Hopefully you guys are going to stick around to see that one. I'll see you guys next time.